Hi, Tile from Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about Red Ox bags, believe it or not. Um, when I was the president of Headroom and we manufactured headphone amplifiers and uh, sold headphones, one of the things we manufactured were bags to carry all this stuff in. Once you get a headphone amp and a headphone and a portable player and they're all tied together with wires, it's important to have bags to go along with it. Now, of course, these aren't that kind of bag, but for sure, carrying stuff is part of the personal audio experience. Um, I'm stretching it a little bit here with these bags, but um, the truth is, is that uh, I'm on a headphone board where um, people talk about bags a lot, and uh, it is important to have a good bag uh, when you're going from place to place and one that can serve you well and uh, it really does enhance your traveling and mobile experience. Uh, there's really a long story that goes with these Red Ox bags and I'll let you follow the link under the YouTube to go visit the Inner Fidelity uh, page to read it. Um, but I figured I'd do a little video of these bags in action and um, We'll start with uh, me arriving in New York a few weeks ago when I took my trip, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll talk about the um, build quality of these bags. So I just bought this magazine, and I uh, wanted to show you how easy it was to open and close the zippers on the briefcase bag here. Uh, they're, it, all the zippers are big, but what you find is that it, it makes them very easy to open and close. All right, here goes. It's one-handed, so it's a little hard. And this one's, I mean, this isn't a floppy part of the bag. It very easily could be harder to open. And, uh, there's a pocket down there. And just stick that in and close it up. Throw it over my shoulder. I'm ready to go. Totally staying right in place. Well, I really like this claw strap. Um, I've been walking for a solid 10 minutes now, and it's just not slipped a bit. I've stopped holding on to it and I don't hunch my shoulders up or anything it just staying right in place works great <laughs> I made it we're in New York <clears throat> and here's my new Red Ox Air Boss bag this is my camera bag with all my stuff in it here we're not going to talk about that right now, though. We're just going to show you how much stuff fits in this bag. Uh, at the airport, when I picked up the piece of luggage um, at the uh, baggage claim, uh, I had to check the bag because I had my briefcase with me and I had that camera bag, and the camera bag has to go with me, so I had to check this. Uh, I was in Montana this morning, so I've got my fleece. And uh, when I picked up the bag at baggage claim, I fit in the Red Ox briefcase into this center compartment of the Airboss bag. So that's really cool that you can take the strap off the uh, briefcase, stick it in the Airboss bag when you pick it up from baggage claim, and then take off. Once you've got the stuff out of the center, you can open it all the way and flip it over like that. And this is packed using a bundle method, which worked out really, really well. So on this side, I have my small Red Ox bag, and this has all my chargers uh, for the electronic equipment. Everything's in here in uh, little plastic baggies. And then I have my first bundle. 
So you just basically wrap stuff up in it. The other bundle will show you better. And this is the uh, Red Ox travel kit. Um, there's a little strap here. I'm going to hang up in a second. And this is for all my toiletries. And voila, bathroom in a bag. I'll just go click this onto the little mirror here. My bathroom set up. And then I have my plug strip, which I'll use over on the desk. Socks and underwear. Some shorts. These t-shirts really don't have to be folded very well and that goes in there <clears throat> now this is the other bundle and this is the more important one and I'll put a link on the website on the uh, article at inner fidelity that will show you a diagram of how to do this but this is all my good clothes I have two t-shirts that were at the end there Okay, now the, this bag is completely empty. Just slide in the corner here. Okay, and this is the bundle method here. All my Hawaiian shirts. Unwrap it like that. Take these off the bed as well so you can see. And what happens here is that by the time you've uh, got all this unwrapped, they're fairly wrinkle-free and um, they fit very nicely into the compartments of the suitcase. And then this is the core that you wrap all the stuff around. And in my case, t-shirt at the end and in my case it's got my uh, iPad and the uh, Red Ox little travel tray that you can clip a click together like this and now you've got a place for keys and stuff like that that's you know where it is and things don't go sliding around <clears throat> and change and so on and then here you can see all my shirts are fairly wrinkle free. And that's it. Everything's unpacked. It's very short and sweet. Well, that was fun. Uh, I did make it back safe and sound, and so did the bags. They did a great job. The quality is spectacular um, on these bags. And I wanted to go through a couple of the. Um, details here that makes these bags really durable and high quality. So we'll start with the Air Boss here. Um, well actually I'm going to start with uh, the um, Little Roy bag and what I've done is turned it inside out. Uh, turning bags inside out lets you see how they're constructed a little bit better. First of all you notice that all the seams have this ribboning here. We don't see any raw edges of material anywhere. That's a very good thing. Um, snaps and all the uh, metal fittings on these bags are uh, stainless steel. Uh, the D-rings, for example, on these bags, one of the small details that you may not normally notice is that this is welded shut. So it's not going to open up on you um, under stress. <clears throat> Um, the Little Roy is a little bit different uh, it, because it's smaller, but many of the seams are double stitched. The zipper seam, for example, here is double stitched on the Little Roy. Many more of the seams on these bags are double stitched for durability. Um, the uh, handles on the Little Roy bag and on the uh, Metro briefcase uh, go entirely around the bag. So, um, when you're pulling on it, uh, the stress is not as much on the material as it is on the webbing itself. And uh, if you look at the the uh, where the stitching is on the webbing, 
um, you can see that this is box stitch. This square right here is box stitching and it's the most uh, durable way you can uh, attach a piece of webbing to the material. Um, I have a friend, Jeannie, she's the one who taught me all this stuff. Um, she was our bag manufacturing manager uh, while I was at Headroom and I brought these bags to her and she spent quite a bit of time looking at the detailing of these bags and was very impressed. Um, one minor thing that she did find, well I'll show it to you in a minute, but um, for the most part these bags are extremely, extremely well made. Um, for example, here on this webbing, uh, this uh, uh, edge has an open pocket on it, which is a great pocket for sweaters and such. And such. But as you can see, um, it means that this uh, junction right here has to be very well reinforced. And you can see that it has box stitching here. It is back stitched. Uh, um, in fact, it's, it's, it's box stitched around multiple times and then it's back stitched numerous times. And then this folded edge um, means that this stitching is catching on three layers of material. Also you'll notice again that the webbing goes all the way down to the join down here which means that the energy that this thing is imparting on this and the stress is not just on this edge but it, it goes all the way down to the uh, bottom seam here. The, um, the uh, finishing, the binding on these seams on the outside of the air boss bag um, are not uh, ribbon. The, the, this is called ribboning that's on this edge right here and uh, this is webbing. It's the same similar material to the, the straps that's on the outside. So when they bound the outside of the air boss bag they bound it with webbing not with ribboning which is a, a quite a substantial improvement in durability on the outside of this bag. Um, as I said, there's stainless steel straps all around. Um, the the strap that comes with it, we talked about before um, in the in the video, but it's very very durably made, and you can see that it has stainless steel clasps on the end. Really nice, really nicely built. Um, the zippers, these NKK zippers, as I showed you in the video, work extremely easily. It really was one of the the coolest features of these bags. Now the uh, the one area that Jeannie uh, said that there was a s slight um, potential problem was that um, here where pocket attaches, um, it's sewn twice, which is very very good, <clears throat> it, but the uh, only the base stitching is back stitched. This closest stitching to the pocket is not back stitched. But Jeannie manufactures, um, she works for a place called Mystery Ranch that manufactures bags for the military and for the uh, fire service. And I could tell you that she is extremely picky about this kind of thing. Um, the thread that's used on this uh, is a 90, number 97, um, but it's a very, very durable thread. You can see that there's also back stitching on the pockets here. Jeannie showed me um, things that she called joiners where when they when they circle uh, a bag um, when they put a panel on and they run back to the first section of material that it gets back stitched on the joiner um, and that the joiners are long um, so that they don't come apart. Um, another uh, important feature for audio geeks is that um, a lot of uh, headphone geeks travel with very large portable systems. You can see that I, I put together pretty much as big a system as I could um, using a Cypher Labs um, uh, algorithm and uh, one of the ALO amplifiers and my uh, iPod Touch. So this is a pretty good sized um, piece of portable audio gear and yet you can see it easily fits in the pocket and um, I'll mention that these snaps are really cool because you have access to both sides of the snap so that you're not pressing inwards on the, the stuff that's in the pocket when you close them. Um, the Jeannie said the stitching around the elastic here is very, very good. It's double stitched uh, again. Um, also, 
uh, on the D-ring itself, there's multiple places where it's back tacked and stress relief. Um, there are uh, pull tabs on the end of the zippers so that you can um, pull. And uh, frankly, you rarely need to because it's um, the zippers work so well. So um, uh, material the bags are made out of is a thousand denier uh, uh, urethane coated cordura, which is pretty much the um, most abrasion and resistant um, material that you can make a bag like this out of. Uh, so it's very, very nice indeed. The only um, complaint that I had uh, was that I thought the handles here um, could use a little padding or something to stiffen them because they, they just collapse very easily. Um, However, I was usually carrying it with a strap, and the strap worked great. Um, but I thought that that could be an improvement a, a little bit. Um, bottom line, these bags are built to take it. They do come with a uh, lifetime warranty. If uh, you have a problem with a bag and you send it back to Red Ox and they can't repair it, uh, they will uh, replace the bag for you. Um, I thought those guys were really great. They uh, do a great job. They sell direct to the consumers. They make sure they have a, a real relationship with their customers. They did a great job uh, with my friends who did a group buy. Um, I had a bunch of friends on this he uh, headphone board who did a group buy. They bought some, I don't know, 30 bags or something like that all told um, and had their uh, log travel team logo embossed, uh, embroidered on the bags. Um, and the and the Red Ox folks were really good to work with. Um, so bottom line, I definitely recommend these bags. I think they're are are very 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 well built. I after going with Genie, I, I went down um, to my collection of motorcycling and backpacking and and uh, photography bags uh, and uh, and had a look through them. And these bags were clearly the best built bags that I have in the house. So um, definitely highly recommended. Uh, so Red Ox, R-E-D-O-X-X.com. And um, you can get them in all different colors. There's a whole variety of shapes and sizes. Um, there's a lot more information actually that I'm missing out on this video. And uh, you really should read the article to uh, get the full story on these bags. All right, probably the last time I'll do a bag review, but probably not the last time I'll be reviewing a fabric product. Um, I have seen uh, jackets with iPod controls in them, and um, I've seen hats that have headphones in them. So you never know. I think we'll see more and more products in personal audio that are um, essentially bags or items of clothing uh, that we wear. After all, we wear the headphones, so um, it wouldn't be surprising to see us having more products that are made of fabric that we carry or wear for uh, personal audio pleasure. All right, well, that's it, and we'll see you next time.